Welcome to Boot Spy. My name is William. Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down the difference between the Clark's Desert Boot and the Bushacre 2. We're gonna talk about the benefits to each boot, the downsides, and ultimately, we're gonna figure out which one is right for you. So let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please tap the subscribe button down below and give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and I very much appreciate it. So thank you for that. So to start off, again, what we're gonna be talking about today is the Clark's Desert Boot and we're gonna compare that to the Bushacre 2. Really, when you look at these two boots side by side, they look almost identical. But there's one really big difference and that is gonna that's gonna basically decide which one of these boots is the right one for you. Clark's has been around over 100 years, but it wasn't until 70 years ago when they came out with the desert boot. That's what really put them on the map. So since then, they've done, you know, I, I don't know how many boots they've put out, but this has become a, you know, a, a fashion icon. You've no doubt seen somebody wearing a pair of Clark's desert boot at some point because these things are so popular. And in the early 2000s, or maybe it was 2010s, I'm not quite sure, they came out with the Bushacre 2, and that answered a lot of complaints that people had on the desert boot. So, but that's led to some confusion because people are wondering that, you know, you look at the, the desert boot and the Bushacre 2, you look at them side by side and you're wondering, well, what's the difference? They look identical. So. I'm gonna start by talking about what the desert boot is, and this is the classic, this is the original, so then we're gonna compare the Bushacre 2 to that. Looking at the desert boot, basically you have just this rich pull-up leather. Now pull-up leather is tightly packed with oils and waxes, so you don't really need to put much maintenance, much care into it. It's gonna kind of stay like self, um, self moisturized, it's not gonna crack. And it's also really flexible. It doesn't get weird creases. It just looks, you know, really rich and it's quite, quite water resistant too. So those are all great things about this leather. It's very comfortable on the feet and you can even, this type of boot, since it only has two eyelets, you can just slip your whole foot in there without even having to untie it. And that's really rare for a boot. So that's a really cool thing about these boots. They're also made with a crepe sole. Now crepe rubber is essentially, it, it's pretty unrefined rubber, especially compared to more modern rubbers. And what you're getting is they take the sap from the tree and it's coagulated latex. And basically you end up with something that's really porous and very squishy. So on the positive side, you have a very comfortable shoe. It adds a lot of padding to your foot, but on the downside, it absorbs a lot of dirt and so it becomes dirty looking quickly and also because it's so porous it can kind of uh, like chip and and rub off and it doesn't quite um, it's not the most durable substance so those are kind of the two downsides with crepe rubber the desert boot and the bushacre 2 they both have the same really super simple construction that's just one stitch that attaches the upper just that one piece of leather and it attaches that to the rubber, you know, if that's crepe or vulcanized rubber, it attaches that to the sole. You can't really resole either of these, so once the sole is done, the boot is done. There are some videos online of people like resoling a pair of Clark's Desert boots on their own, but you can't go to a cobbler and get it done. So if you want to get like wild Mad Max and, and just resole your desert boot, like go for it. But um, and you can find tutor tutorials on that right here on YouTube. So go check it out if you're interested. But otherwise, I don't personally plan on resoling my desert boots or my bush acre too. Um, just when they're dead, they're dead. So there's that. Now let's talk about the bush acre two. Bush Acre 2, same pull-up leather. Um, again, just really beautiful leather. And for either of these, the quality of leather you're getting for the price is excellent. So it's a really fair value. Um, you're getting that same construction around, around the welt, so super simple. The big difference here is the sole. So here we're dealing with a vulcanized rubber, rubber sole. And what that does is two things. It kind of answers the big complaints that people had for the Clark's Desert Boot. Now, the two biggest complaints on the Clark's Desert Boot is that the sole doesn't last a long time and that it looks dirty. So the first thing they did was they made it a darker brown 
And so even though it will, it will get less dirty because it's, this rubber is not as porous, so it'll absorb less dirt, but even then it's a darker color. So just in general, dirt's gonna show less. So that's the first thing that they took care of with the Clark's Bush Acre 2. The second thing was that it's a harder rubber, so it's less squishy and it also doesn't chip out as much. It won't wear down so much on concrete or when you're walking around. So you get a boot that's more durable on bottom. Now the downside to having a harder vulcanized rubber sole is that it's not as comfortable. When you're standing on the ground and you're kind of standing for long periods of time, there just isn't as much give in these harder rubber soles as there is, as there is for this crepe rubber sole. So basically, if you stand on your feet all day, it can kind of get tiring because there's just not as much padding in the bush acre too. So which of these two boots should you get? I'm pretty conflicted on this one because they're both an excellent value and they both serve their own purpose. If you plan on wearing your boots one or two or three times a week and you prioritize comfort over everything else, then I would recommend the desert boot. It's more comfortable to wear, that sole is much squishier and softer, so that's it's nice to stand on all day. Your feet won't get tired. Plus it has the light sole, the, the cream colored sole, which is a classic look. Now it will get more dirty over time, so that's kind of a bummer. But if you wear it casually, it's not a problem. If you prioritize durability over comfort, then I would go with the Bushacre too. You can also wear this, I think this kind of the Bushacre also opens up the option to wear this at work because you have this darker sole and it won't show as much dirt, so it'll stay cleaner looking for longer. Once you get to a certain point with the desert boot and this kind of starts to turn gray, it just isn't really acceptable to wear in an office anymore. It just looks dirty and kind of haggard. So the Bush Anchor 2 is just gonna last longer from a from a, a pure durability aspect, but also from like a stylistic standpoint, it's gonna last a little bit longer in those more formal situations. So those are kind of the two picks. My personal favorite is the desert boot because it's that iconic boot. I don't wear it very often, you know, I'll wear it once or twice a week. I just slip it on. It goes really well with a pair of jeans when I'm just chilling. So it's not something I wear all the time. And that's why I like the desert boot. But I think if I was getting a pair as like kind of my main pair of shoes, my next pair of boots, was this is gonna be my main thing. I would then go with the Bush Acre too. So when you're ordering these, it's kind of a little bit weird. The desert boot you can get from ClarksUSA.com. They have it there. They offer a 60 day, uh, a 60 day return policy. So you just do free, you can ship back for free and you get that return 60 days so long as you haven't worn it. So I recommend trying it on inside the house so that you don't you know, make the soles dirty because they won't accept it if the soles are dirty like this. The Bushacre 2 is not sold through Clark's uh, any of their websites. They sell it on big retailers like Nordstrom or Amazon. We have a link to their Amazon page down below. And that their, you know, the return policy is really subject to whatever retailer you get it through. So make sure you check that before you buy. If you'd like to get a full detailed review of the Desert Boot and the Bush Acre 2, we have links to those down in the description below. And we also have another article that does the full side-by-side -side comparison of these two boots. Again, you can check that out at bootspy.com. We have that link in the description below. So thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't already, please tap the subscribe button. And until next time, put your best boot forward.